Yeah, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough because I'm a glutton for punishments. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm gonna see how far this thing actually goes. And for the sake of saving time, because every time I die, it takes me like 15 minutes to get back here. Uh, I save stated before the boss room, so yeah. Oh, every time I die, I'm just going to. Uh, just ah, do my thing there and yeah, restart my save state from the last room that I died in. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll save state periodically, basically, just to uh, see how far I can get in this thing. And this particular room configuration with the, yeah, lightning blocks at the bottom there, it's... That's a pretty dangerous room combination, now that I think about it, because... When you only have about half the screen to work with, like, you don't want to stay at the bottom all the time because those blocks are there. When you only have about half the screen to work with, you got uh, a pretty scary uh, setup going on. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, you're going to bounce safely. I'll just do, just kind of do one of these things. And now nah, we're going to see if this is the end or not. I'm not sure about it, but we're going to see. Oh my god, it is not, it continues! <laughs> I wonder if I should save state here now, but I've only got one life. Hmm, well, we'll see how it goes, I guess. I can always redo the crackle battle, I guess. Oh, I just wanna keep myself away from the death that is at the bottom, just like in the crackle room. Oh boy! <laughs> Stay up, stay up, stay up! <laughs> yeah, whenever I can get him inside a corner like that, I start spamming uh, oh horizontal lines because I, I see the possible success in that. And okay, I can go, I can deal with this pace. This is a much friendlier pace, but I really can't <laughs> because there's a timer. Gotta move. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> I would literally like that uh, that drink down there, by the way. That would, that would be most appreciated. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> The game listened to me. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna, not gonna take a hit now. No, 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 no. We are, we've come too far to have to save state again. <laughs> no, honestly, I probably, probably should save state here. So let's just do a little thing a jigger here. Um, yeah, I'll do it on number three here and continue. <laughs> oh, so it's oh, this is like a repeat of that first room that I was stuck in for hours. Yeah, with the bumpers that you gotta keep yourself in the corner to kill everything off if you can. And, uh, that's it's not the easiest thing you possibly can do. Eh, my line wasn't working again. <laughs> that's okay, though. There isn't any danger in this room. It's just... I, okay, I guess your danger is the clock. More than anything, the clock is your enemy. The other enemies are not really enemies. They're just... They're just there. <laughs> okay, I got those two. Uh, 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 wait, did you just go right through the line? Because I drew it right on top of you? Okay. <laughs> uh, ah, there we go. Alright, moving on. This looks safe, so I'm not gonna save state. <laughs> this actually is looking like the rooms are repeating in slightly different configurations. You know? <laughs> I mean, this this feels almost like that other one, except maybe the blocks are a bit tougher. Like they they have more stars on them. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's why I thought that uh, um, that last crackle battle was the last room because uh, the the rooms after that just seem. Oh no no no! <laughs> the rooms after that just seem to be like their own style of repeats in a way. So maybe that's why I thought. That the cracker room was the last, even though... It, oh, shoot, I made myself go slower. Even though these aren't really... You know, even though that wasn't really the last, as it just keeps going on. I don't know if there's an end to it, though. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I thought the end was at 16, but... Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> or maybe it was, and they just keep repeating in a uh, infinite fashion, so to speak, similar to uh, how a Tetris game gets faster as you go along, but, you know, when it gets to a certain speed, Tetris doesn't really get any harder than, you know, automatic drop, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean, yeah, I see in this particular room configuration they uh, added another Cappy there, but otherwise, it's basically the same particular room, yeah. <laughs> There's a couple more enemies here, but 
really, I think that's just gonna be just as, yeah, it's gonna be just as easy to clear them all because of the uh, oh, I'm low on time <laughs> because of the whole uh, uh, the thing a jigger of that. Well, you know, they just kind of bounce you into other things. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, there I go, and I'll get a little time bonus when I get out of here. If I get out of here... Aww. <laughs> New record! But yeah, I, I... Oh, I got a triple A that time. <laughs> but you know, I got the actual A rank legit. But actually, technically, I, uh... I got this legit because I played up to this point, then save stated before I started, and then I didn't really save state past that, did I? Huh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I did save state, but I didn't resume from my previous state or anything like that. You know, I just had the save states as like a backup in case of failure. But yeah, I, I am basically thinking that the levels are now just repeats of the same rooms, uh, only that you know, you're seeing uh, extra enemies or whatnot around there, so I don't really see much variability here from here on out, so maybe I think this is where I'll call it quits on the block attack. <laughs> but I would like to show you something else here, but I gotta get back to the spot, so uh, I'll see you ahead. Alright, this one right here, stage 11 is the one that I was talking about. Remember I said that there was something hidden over on the upper right there, uh, behind those blocks? Well, we're gonna see what that is now, because now that I'm actually messing around here, I see I can mess around here, I can, uh, see what is beyond the wall once and for all out of curiosity. Because <laughs> I'm not sure myself, I thought it was like... Uh, items or like something to get more points or something like that, uh, but we're gonna see now just for the fun of it uh, What is beyond? <laughs> this wall here, and this is actually kind of kind of dangerous here if you think about it because uh, if Kirby gets out and up out the top like that and uh, Yeah, if you want to check that it's gonna It's gonna kind of mess with you. <laughs> okay, there we go because if you end up accidentally getting yourself out of there, it'll kind of mess mess you up because you won't be able to see what's actually in here. And, uh, oh, I see. So it's basically just blocks to explode and then, yeah, you can see more of, I should say, you can get more points. I'm not really sure this is worth it in all honesty because I would think you'd get more points faster by uh, uh, killing enemies or just destroying the blocks that you get along the way. Oh, I suppose there's that Maxim Tomato I see there, so that might be a, a, the item that I was thinking of that is down this way. You know, Maxim Tomato, it'll give you all your health back, but, uh, yeah, um, not really much to see here, is there? <laughs> it's just like a bonus area of sorts that's pretty much not dangerous at all, too, because, you know, even if you take a hit, you got the Maxim Tomatoes to uh, recover your stuff, like, voila. So, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna call it quits here on this minigame, because I'm pretty sure we've seen just about all there is to see on this thing, and it's just getting a little bit repetitive, so I'm gonna head over to the uh, cart game now. Well, I always do the little info screen first, there we go. By the way, um, I never really sure you showed this before, but you can tap through this to uh, uh, read through this a little bit further here. I don't know why I didn't show that before, I just kind of tapped it once, and yeah, <laughs> so I might as well go over to uh, block attack as well and show you the screens as well. Um, yeah, it's not, not super, uh, oh, oh, it does help a little bit there, <laughs> but it's, it, it still doesn't tell you how many points you'll get if you get said, uh, um, you know, for each rank, and I could not find for the life of me what the ranks were on the internet for block attack, it's just, just blasphemy. <laughs> anyway, cart run, let's give this a shot. And like the other cart runs, it is vastly different from the other cart runs, at least in difficulty and longevity and stuff like that. Um, now obviously like the other ones, if you want to get the A rank, you want to get as much fruits as possible, as well, foods as possible, as, and yeah. Wow, Kirby, I mean, I mean DDD is uh, pretty swift there. <laughs> Okay, now we're getting some speed here. We're getting some speed. Whoa, 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 I need to hit some stuff that breaks other stuff. And this is actually kind of precise, which is not good. Oh, boy, but we're going to make it. We are going to get that A rank like no one's business. 
and I do think I'll have an easier time getting to the end of this gauge, than, I mean, you know, to the end of this sub-game than I will uh, the block attack type thing, but wow, King DDD is, like, miles ahead. I have... <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> I don't know how he got so far ahead, but now I have caught up. And I am going to avoid everything that I possibly can in order to prevent my own demise just to survive the race. Hopefully I won't lose to DDD, though. That would be kind of embarrassing, even if this is level 3. <laughs> I'm more concerned about the uh, A rank, though, and whatnot more than anything, so we'll see how it goes. I think that, oh, there always seems to be like a point where DDD slows down to let you catch up. It was kind of like that in Gourmet Race as well, in uh, Kirby Superstar, in that if you got too far ahead, uh, he'd, he'd have these, like, laggy type parts that you just, like, <laughs> just, like, really slow down. That would, like, give you time to catch up. It's it's sort of like the, the AI of forgiveness of sorts. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, I didn't have him really been taking that many hits anyway. It's just a matter of trying to get that foods. And, wow, DDD really is miles ahead. And, oh, shoot. <laughs> Go! <laughs> catch up with that dang penguin! <laughs> Yeah, all I'm doing is trying to aim myself towards food more than anything, because uh, when I'm at max speed, I just break right through the blocks anyway, so it's like, so what if I hit other stuff when I'm at max speed, you know? <laughs> um, even, I don't even think the Gornos would slow me down if I was hitting, you know, at max speed, you know, going through stuff at max speed. Uh, but anyway, there's a lot of, uh... A lot of stuff going on here. I mean, a lot of stages going on here. And I really, really messed up there. That's okay. We started catching up with DDD, though, and that's all that matters. So I think oh, that is not helping at all. <laughs> Come on now. How far does this go, though? I don't know. I wasn't sure about the block attack either, but I guess maybe we'll see. <laughs> I just know it's still going. Grab the carrots, grab the coin, grab the burger! All is perfect for Kirby for increasing speed. Yeah, the faster you uh, grab items, the, the, yeah, the easier it is to get to that max speed type thing that you want to really catch up with DDD and whatnot. So yeah, get those speedster shoes going there. Well, speedster carts going. Put that nitro in the cart is what I'm saying. <laughs> go, Kirby, go! Okay, we're catching up. We're ahead. Oh my goodness! Can't believe I made it ahead of DDD. It took a couple, couple of runs through portions of this, but I made it. Oh no! I'm gonna slow down. He's gonna catch up. Uh, you'll notice that DDD always follows the same track, so he's not going to get any faster or slower on each of these variations of his track. So there's certain tracks that he's gonna be faster on than, he's, than he is on other ones, so I might have just caught up with him because he had a uh, slow track a couple times. <laughs> or maybe he's being merciful, similar to his Kirby Superstar counterparts of, uh, oh shoot, of, uh, what the heck, what's going on? Hammer? He's been throwing hammers at me, what is, what is this monster? What? Are you, uh, you're cheating? What? Come on now, DDD. Actually, I'm pretty sure this isn't the actual DDD. Um, if you notice, this DDD was drawn by Draw Sia uh, before this actual boss game sub game thing was, you know, in the main game. So what happened was that, you know, we we noticed a difference between uh, DDDs because we actually got a DDD ball, and wow, I actually won! Woo! <laughs> Woo -hoo! Wow, that was a that was a lot. <laughs> Please give me an A rank, though. I very much appreciate that. Because then I can end off the parts. <laughs> what? That's it? For all that work that I did? I only got a C rank? Well. Well. In here. Oh, oh my god, I actually died. <laughs> okay, looks like I'm gonna have to try that again. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I still got a C rank off of that, though. I think it was because I was getting, um... What? Oh, that's, that's a G rank, not a C rank. That was actually horrendous. Wow. Anyway, I, yeah, I really gotta try this again. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, there's, there's this at this point, and whoops. Whoops. 
Oh, 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 G again. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't die. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Focus everything on the race. We can do this. Everything rides on this race because my sanity is clearly not there anymore. I thought it was kind of lost a while ago, but still, still, I had more sanity. Now, nope, it's gone. Absolutely shredded. Ooh, super speed! They got four crisscrossed over each other. <laughs> Woo! Come on, come on, food, 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 food! Yes! Yeah, I definitely like those super speed ups there. And come on, stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead. Look at where the food is and go where the food is. That is key to victory. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to look as far over to the right side of the screen as possible, if at all possible, you know, like to see what's coming. But uh, it's, it's not always super helpful, because, <laughs> you know, it's there's still a matter of reaction time going on here, which is pretty difficult. As a matter of fact, a lot of this game is based off of um, having slightly difficult control schemes. Well, I, I shouldn't say that, like... Like, could Kirby in all the games controls fine, it's just a matter of doing it smoothly, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's very difficult to stay consistent on pretty much anything in this game. Um, especially, especially when you're not playing it on an actual DS. <laughs> actual hardware... Always better than emulation. Always better. <laughs> Wait, actually, I shouldn't say that. There are a couple of instances where uh, games actually ran better um, on an emulated software, like, say, uh, Action 52 or whatever that terrible multi-compilation game was called, in that it was a... Uh, it had some games that did not run on the Atari, but if you put it in an emulator, because the computer had higher specs than the Atari did, it, uh, it, it ran, you know, like, <laughs> it wouldn't freeze upon opening said game, it would actually run. <laughs> Which is pretty interesting, actually, because it, it's like the, the designers didn't check the system, they just maybe checked it off of... Um, whatever they built it on, like maybe they just built it off the PC and they assumed it was going to work on the console. <laughs> there's a lot of problems with Action 52, let's just put it that way. Just like there's a lot of problems with my racing style. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting any farther here. <laughs> uh... So, I think I'm going to end off the part here and focus more on the cart run on the next part. Because I'm not really getting further on that, but I did get further on this. And that's really what I wanted to see uh, more than anything in this part. Which took up a lot of the part in itself. So, yeah. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next part when I maybe give cart run another shot. Not sure. Maybe I'll end up at the uh, paint panic. Who knows?